Good afternoon and welcome to today's session that Googly MSMEs will have to play safe. I am Prasanna, co-host of the event today. Let me introduce today's presenter, Mr. Vishal Shah, CEO and co-founder of Sinosoft Technologies. He is known as seasoned technology stalwart, an inventor of specific patented technologies, a writer, a serial entrepreneur, an investor, and most importantly, a go-to guy for MSMEs. This session is specially, specially designed for enterprise owners and management team. In this webinar, Vishal sir will discuss certain challenges that MSME owners must pay attention to. He will discuss some unexpected hurdles that Indian MSMEs owners will come across while claiming their global opportunities. We'll also explain how MSME owners can take on these challenges and scale such hurdles to make India India world's manufacturing hub. If you have any questions while you watch this demonstration, kindly write in the question and answer tab in the bottom of your Zoom login. The panel will take up the question at the end of the session. Alternatively, in case you want to ask any question in the end of the session, you may please raise your hand. We shall activate your microphone to ask the question. Vishal sir, can you please take it ahead from here? Yeah, good afternoon all. So uh, this is our uh, um, another uh, session on that Googly MSMEs will have to play safe. So basically, this is all about a situation. When we talk about a Googly, let me explain what do we mean by Googly. Most of us know cricket very well. We leave cricket. So we know what Googly is. You know, uh, Googly is a, a bowl or delivery of... Uh, a leg spinner who shows acts like sending a leg spin and then suddenly it turns out to be in opposite direction and mostly it uh, basically deludes the batsman and googlies are very very uh, well known wicket taking bowling styles so googly is something which is unexpected and uh, today we are going to discuss what is coming up, you know, and that is very, very unexpected for Indian MSMEs. So in this session, I'm going to talk about that googly MSMEs will have to play safe. And before we understand what is that googly, we will understand certain geopolitical developments. We'll understand the implications and consequences of those geopolitical developments how MSMEs will be affected because of these developments and consequences. And then um, we will see what are the opportunities for MSMEs in this particular kind of geopolitical political developments. And then we will see what is that googly, what is that unexpected things MSMEs do not expect and they get bold. So this is how this session is uh, going to flow. And uh, before I uh, move to the next slide, I request Prasanna to run a poll just to identify the composition of the audience. So we have advisory professionals to MSME and others. A majority of the attendees represent to this kind of category. Uh, so we will try to make sure that uh, we have a relevant discussion 
which is uh, matching with your expectations. You have already submitted your questions uh, beforehand. So in my slides, I have covered answers to those most of the questions. So we will move to the next slide and we'll understand what kind of geopolitical developments worth noticing vis-a-vis -vis their impact on MSMEs. So let's start with uh, Corona time. So post Corona, <clears throat> Indian companies have dominated pharmaceuticals and biotechnology field. And that is where Corona, after the Corona, our companies are so recognized in this particular field. So this is a very important geopolitical and demographic industrial development. Another worth noticing development is uh, we are already the world's largest population. And not only that, but we are the world's largest working age English speaking population, working age English speaking population. So this is something which is very important and worth noticing. It is a very important demographic information. After the Corona, our world is not yet settled with the supply chain issues with China and world is looking for China plus one kind of strategy. And that is a very important development we must all notice because it is going to affect most of the MSMEs. We'll see what kind of implications would be there. In recent 10 years, uh, we have seen government focus on infrastructure, you know, very intense focus on infrastructure. And we see it around us. We see flyovers, highways, connectivity. Recently, India has become world's second largest uh, connected road network country. And that uh, actually validates government's uh, intense focus on uh, the infrastructure development. Then uh, we have to also notice the Taiwan uncertainties. Taiwan has a lot of problems with China and China is an, uh, sorry, Taiwan is an undisputed leader in microprocessors and chips. And because of all its own political and other problems, entire world is facing issues on the supply. And we would know about it. Uh, now you order a good uh, a car and the delivery would be delayed by at least three months to 12 months thanks to these kind of uncertainties. Another geopolitical demographic development is emerging cheap revolution in India. You know, uh, we have been seeing the uh, headlines now, a uh, few months ago, Foxconn and Vedanta uh, joint venture. Uh, a few days ago, we have seen uh, the Micron company, you know, investing in Gujarat. And that is going to be an emerging uh, cheap revolution in India. And India can be another Taiwan um, if everything goes well. So this is also worth noticing industrial development. Then, of course, Russia-Ukraine war. It has been more than a year. There is no result. But still, the world is suffering from the ongoing war as well as whatever. Now everyone is expected to choose the side and every country has to choose the side and that is another geopolitical development we must notice. Then Indian government in its last budget was third largest defense budget, budget, defense budget you know, um, in the world. You know, Indian government is focusing on defense for uh, its internal security for its external security. And that is something very important and that will affect the MSMEs. We will see how, but yes, uh, it is going to be. So this is about geopolitical uh, demographic industrial development. And before we move to the consequences or the implications or the impact of these geopolitical demographic industrial developments with the perspective of an MSME. Uh, I would request Prasanna to run a short poll uh, just to get your feedback about it.
while you are uh, giving the your feedback to the poll, um, world has started preferring democracies versus pseudo uh, democracies and autocracies, and India is at advantage. Along with that, India is also coming up with its own personal data protection law. So there are many MSMEs who handle personal data of Indian citizens, and they will be subject to that. So these are the industrial developments worth noticing, basically. So the question is, which of the uh, following has affected the business you are associated with? Yes, post-corona development, 75%, 25% Russia-Ukraine war, 25% increased spending on defense, yes, and proposed personal data protection law, 25% think that they are, they are affected because of that. So now let us check the impact of this particular development. Um, I will move to the next slide. So the first impact is in terms of FDI in manufacturing. India is now seeing a lot of foreign direct investment in manufacturing, and that is not uh, because of anything else. But now the world is looking at China plus one. Uh, India has a potential to become manufacturing hub uh, of the world, and that's how these FDI figures are indicating um, the same. That is an impact of this geopolitical demographic industrial developments. Another uh, impact is about privatization of defense sector. Another, sorry, another impact is about government spending on infrastructure, metro, bullet train, and smart cities. Government has big budgets for that, and that is going to create a lot of business opportunities down the line. Another impact is about privatization of defense sector. Government of India is uh, having third largest defense budget in the world. And privatization of defense sector is the key step or key reform government of India has taken. And that is going to open up a lot of opportunities for MSMEs. So FDI manufacturing, uh, very large companies are coming up in manufacturing and that is going to open up a lot of opportunities for MSMEs. Government of India spending on infrastructure, bullet train um, and many other uh, uh, utilities, you know, uh, that is going to open a lot of opportunities for MSMEs. Privatization of defense sector, of course, is going to open up opportunities for MSMEs. Uh, another impact is now uh, we are we are now in the flow of make for the world, you know, uh, make for the world, and uh, that has a big potential to open up the opportunities for MSMEs. Then another is potential of cheap de dependent value added products. See when India makes the cheap in bulk like we have a joint venture between Foxconn and Vedanta, or recently Micron is investing in Gujarat. Um, there will be a lot of derived value added products, you know, of, of from the cheap, and that will catalyze the adoption of Industry 4.0, smart manufacturing, IoT, and that will open a lot of opportunities for MSMEs. Indian government is very steady on its labor reforms, MSME schemes, and import substitution policies. They are very conscious about current account deficits and uh, import substitution is also another strategy to catalyze the economy and MSMEs can expect great opportunities out of it. Then custodianship of data with liability assumptions. You know, this has a negative impact. Uh, uh, now, uh, till date, you know, uh, we are not subject to any liability assumptions when we are handling someone's private data, personal data. And we are the victims of, um, all of us are the victims. You know, we all receive um, calls like credit card, chahiye, loan, chahiye, because our phone numbers are available everywhere. This is our very personal information, but it is available everywhere. So when government of India comes up with 
comes up with its personal data protection law. Most of the MSMEs dealing with uh, a citizen's personal data will be subject to you know liability assumption also. So that is going to be a negative impact. Rest are very, very positive impact and they are towards the opportunity building for MSMEs. So before we move to the next uh, slide, I uh, request Prasanna to uh, launch the poll, please. So the question here is which of the following has a positive impact on your business? 25% think that government spending on infrastructure has a positive impact. Uh, MSME schemes are beneficial for 50% of the respondents and 25% think that foreign direct investment in manufacturing is a positive impact. So now uh, let us understand how MSMEs are all poised to take up these opportunities. So when we talk about the opportunities derived from the impact of this geopolitical and demographic developments, the first opportunity is in terms of vendor development programs by MSMEs, by MNCs and large enterprises. So all these companies who are setting up or who are establishing themselves in India will require a lot of vendors and service providers. And they will have vendor development programs and MSMEs can really benefit by <clears throat> participating in them and by supplier being their vendors or service providers, they can really get these opportunities to grow their business. Another opportunity is exports to the Western world. You know, now India plus one, sorry, China plus one kind of strategies by the Western world, they would prefer anyone to China and India can be that anyone. And the third opportunity is in terms of indigenous products for import substitution. MSMEs can develop some products and they can uh, they can make such products which are normally imported and if it can substitute the imports it can be beneficial and government has a lot of incentives for import substitution also so these are the opportunities and how msmes can grab these opportunities so they would require capital they would require infrastructure they would require skilled manpower and they would require technology in order to become either a vendor to a large company or to become an exporter or uh, to develop a product which is um, which is an import substitution product they will require capital infrastructure skilled manpower and technology all this is abundantly available government has very um, so very many schemes, you know, which avail capital to MSMEs. Infrastructure development is going on full fledged in India. We have a lot of uh, Skill India, Skill India kind of programs where now availability of skilled manpower is increasingly, you know, growing. And technology, yes, uh, Indian MSMEs, Indian entrepreneurs are technocrats and they can really do well for technology-driven businesses. 
and by what means they can achieve this. So the first is empanelment. They can apply for the empanelment with large MNCs or enterprises. They can maintain or prove the quality standards such that their products are exports worthy. And they can actually create a brand with a lot of dependability, which can make them or establish them as an import substitutor. So this is what Indian MSMEs have it in vision. You know, they have ample of opportunities. Whatever they require, capital, infrastructure, skilled manpower, technology is available to them. And these are amazing entrepreneurs and they can really grab on these opportunities to empanel meant by proving their quality standards at global, uh, um, you know, at global standards and dependability. They can prove themselves so dependable. So here everything goes well. Opportunities for MSMEs are ample. So now I would remind all of you about the topic of this webinar, which is Googly. So we have all positive expectations as an MSME. What kind of Googly, you know, might turn out on us? So we'll understand now that particular Googly. What is that Googly? What is that Googly which will become an obstacle to grab these opportunities? for MSMEs. So before we go to that Googly, I would request Prasanna to launch a poll. So the question in the poll was, which of the following is strategic fit for your business? Empanelment as supplier, 40%, exporters to the Western world, 40%, and indigenous product for import substitution, 20%. Great. So now we move to that particular Googly, what Googly I am talking about. So as I told, Googly is something which is unexpected. You are expecting to spin the ball in a specific direction and it spins in a different direction and that is a tough call. So while MSMEs are looking forward to grabbing these opportunities, there are certain unexpected things and I have seen many entrepreneurs struggling with these unexpected things. So whether you are getting empaneled with an MNC or whether you are or whether you are exporting your products to global companies or whether you are making some import substitution products in all three situations in order to achieve or in order to realize those opportunities business opportunities you will be required to go through audits and compliances Nowadays, empanelment happens only through audits and compliance is, is a very, very essential part of it. Without successful audit and compliances, empanelment does not happen. MNCs or global companies are more and more conscious about audits and compliances, and they want to deal with the vendors who are 
successful in this audits and compliances. And this is a googly for our MSMEs. MSMEs manage their companies in their own way. Of course, they have processes, they have few certifications, but when it is about audits and compliances, there is nobody you know, uh, who can really help them and guide them through. It is not very easy. I will give you an example. I will share. Um, I will share something. So, for a very small MSME, we got so many questions in audit and compliance. You know, does bidder has competent experience certified? This that how the hardware and software components. I mean, hundreds of questions, you know, he has to comply with this. I will show you another one. A lot of questions. What is the infrastructure? What are the vulnerabilities? And after the audit, there are so many queries which are technically very difficult for an MSME entrepreneur to deal with. So this is something which is very, very tough. And that is what I call as a googly. And that is where MSMEs have to be very, very cautious. They need to invest in adequate systems so that they can go through these audits. So I will talk about how MSMEs can actually play this Google very safe, how they can successfully accomplish the audits and compliances. It is not rocket science. At the same time, uh, it is not something you have to, you can take very lightly also. So we will understand the complexities and we will understand how we can deal with that. And we can understand how MSMEs can actually play very safe against these googlies and audits and compliance is something which is found most difficult by most of the entrepreneurs while they are trying to realize global opportunities in terms of empanelment in terms of empanelment with mnsmes mncs or in terms of empanelment with defense companies you know nowadays defense companies have privatized so they are looking for suppliers but they are looking for suppliers who are successfully completing the audits and compliances so we will understand that. I request Prasanna to run the uh, uh, poll and then we will uh, go to the next part of it. So the question is uh, on Google impact. It is empanelment requirements of cybersecurity compliance. IT audits are complex and difficult for an MSME. 40% agree, 20% do not agree, and 40% are not sure. But yes, they will have their own opinion once they go through it. So now let us move to how we deal with this. So we deal with this with certifications, we deal with this with practices, and we deal with this with tools. Now we'll understand what we mean by that. So how you get compliance ready. So we will understand what are the available tools, certifications, or practices in order to become compliance ready. So the requirements are one has to have cybersecurity for external threat mitigation. <clears throat> One needs to have 
data protection. One needs to have insider threat mitigation. One needs to have vulnerability handling capabilities. One needs to apply access policy, documentation, and enforcement. One needs to have secured remote access. Nowadays, people work from anywhere. So these are the requirements. And once we have all these requirements methodically taken care of, then we can apply for audits and we can apply for certifications and we, we are likely to get through that. So what are the available options? What are the tools to meet these requirements? So the tools are, you need to have very well organized firewall. You need to have very well strategized backup. You need to have well documented policies and practices for data leakage prevention. You need to have the latest updated software in your network so that you are not vulnerable. You need to have Active Directory and domain controller and device hardening kind of solutions so that you have better control and you can comply well. You need to have remote desktop or application virtualization for remote access. And you need to have IT talent on your side. And for MSM, availability, affordability, and rest retention are the challenges. So why it is difficult for MSMEs? MSME or any organization dealing, dealing with MNC, government, or exporter, is required to take care of cybersecurity, data protection, in insider threat mitigation, vulnerability handling, access policy documentation and enforcement, and secure remote access. And for that, they have so many tools to be implemented, integrated, maintained. And for that, they require IT talent. But the problem is highly professional IT talent does not aspire to work with MSMEs. They want to work with very large companies. And hence, availability, affordability, and retention of IT talent are the biggest challenges for MSME. And because they are the challenges, it is very difficult for MSMEs to go through compliance audits. So, and that is the reason it is found most difficult by most of the entrepreneurs. So how to get over it? So before we go to the solution part of it, how you can get it done. Uh, I request Prasanna to run the poll, please. So the question is, which of the following are most prominent challenges of compliance? So 50% say insider threat mitigation, 50% say external threat mitigation, 50% think that availability and affordability of professionals to achieve compliance is a challenge. 50% think that IT policy and documentation and enforcement is a challenge. 50% of the attendees say compliance and security while remote access of the application. So these are the challenges and they are really difficult, but MSMEs are amazing entrepreneurs. They cannot be just stuck because of these challenges on their way to achieve those big opportunities. So we will see how we can deal with this kind of challenges, how we can get the compliance done. So we need to look at the MSME oriented solutions, those solutions who are oriented to MSMEs, which serve the purpose 
at the same time it does not require very highly professional it teams or in terms of msme oriented solutions could be in terms of some plug and play ready made easy to use solutions and of course affordable solutions so when we talk about the compliance checkbox msmes are required to um, implement firewall for cyber security uh, in, in, you know keep their software software up, updated in terms of operating system and everything you know updated to minimize the vulnerabilities they need to invest in backup solutions policy and practices uh, in order to achieve data protection they need to have active directory domain controller device hardening for it policy enforcement and documentation they need to uh, you know have a, a data leakage prevention solution to prevent data leakage from emails internet usb port in order to comply they also need remote desktop or application virtualization kind of solutions in order to make sure that the remote users have secure have secured access to their data and there is no exploitation of it but this is difficult as we have understood it requires it talent it requires a lot of things it requires huge investment also so there are msm oriented solutions which can replace or substitute all these things and the first is it in a box solution why because msmes have very specific scale of usage msmes don't have 10000 20000 30000 100000 100, employees they have employees starting from 10 to maybe 500 employees they are not having very large scale of it usage and for them they can consider it in a box solution so it is a single hardware single software solution which can act as a firewall backup solution data leakage prevention solution um active directory or domain controller kind of solution application virtualization kind of solution so they just have to buy a single hardware uh, single software solution and their most of the compliance can be done through that and it is becoming it becomes very easy for them to comply and get empaneled another solution is hybrid email system see emails can be a biggest cyber security threat we know the cases of identity theft we know how email systems can be misused to leak the data of the organization at the same time most of the world class email systems available are very very expensive if you look at google it starts from 2500 rupees per user per year you look at microsoft it is even more expensive so msmes cannot afford this kind of expensive email systems but they need the world class email systems so hybrid email system means whichever are very critical users they can only spend money on those critical users and whichever are normal users who do not interact with the world very much they can go for a plain vanilla email system so without compromising the security they can minimize their cost because they will end up spending full price for only few users and they will end up spending subsidized price for those users who do not use all the features so hybrid email system is also another um, solution where msmes can minimize their cost make it more affordable without compromising of uh, compromising the security and of course they need updated software and i have seen so many msmes who still use windows 7 um they are very very vulnerable when you they use windows 7 or windows 8 they might not get through the compliances also now for them it is very very expensive to upgrade from windows 7 to windows 10 because they might have missed the bus they might not have upgraded themselves from windows 7 to 8 when Uh, windows was giving free upgrade then windows 8 to 10 they did not upgrade when windows was giving free upgrade so now when they want to move to windows 11 they have to spend money instead there are so many msmes who have saved lot of cost by going by taking refurbished hardware with license os so these refurbished hardware have license os and this license os can help msme comply because when you have license os 
you have all right to update the OS with its latest patches, with its latest security um, uh, security hooks. So basically, um, IT in a box, hybrid email system, and refurbished hardware with license OS. If MSME deploys these things, they can very well go through audits and compliances. And there are professionals who can document all these things. Uh, we also run an academy called Black Box Certification Program Academy, in which there can be professionals who can implement this kind of solutions and document everything and help MSMEs to get through those compliances. So this is something which is um, very important and uh, um, I would say very useful in order to get the compliances done without worrying about cost, without worrying about the dependency or without worrying about uh, recruiting and retaining the IT talent. So this is the googly, which is IT compliance or compliances and audits. And that googly can be very well played, saved by MSMEs very cost effectively in very simple manner by purchasing IT in a box solution by uh, going for hybrid email system and by going for refurbished hardware with license OS. So this is all about today's uh, today's uh, webinar. I would request Prasanna to launch the poll to end uh, and then after that we can very well uh, interact with each other on questions and answers. So as we uh, see the question is, which of the following do you find as effective and affordable solution for compliance? So 50% is uh, IT in a box solution. It's a good shortcut to the compliance hybrid email system. 75% of the people understand the value and 50% of the people understand that refurbished computer with genuine operating system can uh, you know, solve the problems in a great deal. So uh, this is all about today's webinar about the Google. Um, in case you have any question, you can post it in question and answers uh, tab, or you can raise your hand, Prasanna will unmute and uh, we can interact. So we have a few minutes left uh, to end this webinar. So um, I would request all of you to come up with your questions if you have. Yeah, we have a question in chat. I request if you can make it on question answers, people can also, other people can also benefit. I will read the question for everyone's benefit. What solutions you have? One box, unlock all challenges. See, basically there are so many solutions available in the industry. Uh, Synersoft, which is, the, um, which is the supporter of United SMEs, is the maker of black box and black box is a one one single hardware single software it in a box solution which works as a firewall mail system file server domain controller endpoint controller storage um, backup system and many other things and uh, it has very strong reporting uh, uh, abilities documentation is also done very well in, in terms of user profiling in terms of 
policy enforcement in terms of policy documentation and once you have it uh, you know most of the compliances can be easily taken care of Yeah, Prasanna, you can conclude if there is any question in between, I will take care of it. Thank you, sir. Thank you for such an insightful and detailed session. I thank everyone. Um, I, uh, we also... We also have Mr. Sudhir Chaube, co-founder of Sinasoft in the panel. He leads sales and marketing functions of our organization. Uh, I request you to give the concluding remarks. Sudhir, sir. Uh, yes, Prasanna. Yes, the today's Googly was uh, very valuable to all the participants. And thank you, Vishalji, for giving deep insights on the challenges that the organizations are going to face in the near future. And probably they are facing right now also, which is going to increase with time. And uh, hope the participants also uh, learned a lot and uh, had valuable uh, insights from uh, Mr. Vishal. Thank you everyone for attending the session. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.